we out doing? We're going fishing. What are we fishing for? Fishing for a catfish. Yeah. They stocked, this is out at Roadrunner Park. They stocked it with catfish this week. And you can see that there's just tons of people already out. So these community lakes, <clears throat> the Arizona Game and Fish Department will come out here and they'll stock it with catfish in the summer and trout in the winter. And sometimes they'll stock it with uh, bluegill and sunfish and bass. Um, they actually did uh, bluegill stocking probably a week ago, but this week they stocked it with catfish, so it brought people out in droves. So this fish, is, this pond's gonna get hit heavy this weekend, but uh, we'll see if we can get Alex's first fish. He has yet to catch a fish. All right, so the, set, the rig we're using is just a slip, slip shot and a six, size six hook. Um, I got a snap and a swivel there because I always tie snaps on my line, so I can easily change out my lures. So I'm just gonna rig this hot dog up. Actually, I need to eat some of it first. munching on some hot dog. <laughs> Check I find these cold uncooked hot dogs is disgusting. <laughs> plan on going to catch and catfish but we uh, caught this bluegill or the sunfish actually I believe it's a bluegill and uh, ended up gut hooking it I was trying to get the hook out at the lake but uh, I couldn't and this fish was gonna die so I decided just to bring it home and uh, eat it any fish that I caught today I was just gonna catch and release even if it was a catfish so I, I've eaten them before they're not my favorite fish I really prefer just to eat striped bass but there were tons of people at the lake today catching, or at the pond today, at Roadrunner Park, catching catfish. Uh, and a lot of people were keeping them, which uh, you know, Arizona Game and Fish put out that they were going to stock the lake this week. And uh, there were tons of people there. So it just goes to show you that once they put these fish in those ponds, the people go out and they fish them out right away. And uh, kind of gives you an understanding as to why certain YouTube fishermen won't give away their secret spots because people will just go in and they'll just they'll fish it out right away so how many people were there today I, I wouldn't be surprised by you know the beginning of the week there's not going to be any fish in there now this isn't a huge bluegill but I'll be able to get a small fillet off of it um, some people will just cook it uh, with, the, with the skin on and everything but I like to just cut a small fillet out of it throw it in the pan and, and eat it that way so I get it cut under the grill, the gill here. And I use a, a cloth because uh, sometimes the fish is slippery and you know the barbs have poked me before. Mm. So right here the heart is and the guts are down in this way. So I'm cutting at an angle. Uh, if I cut at a sharper angle I'll miss the heart and it won't get as bloody. Sometimes, a lot of times actually I hit the heart and it's, it gets blood all over the place but you know, that's tough. Sometimes it just happens that way. Kind of getting away from me here. I'm not really getting in. And that could be sharper. Yeah, see, I already I severed the heart. Now I'll cut down to the to the ribs, and then I just cut back. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Alec? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Mm. 
Uh, that's, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna kill a fish, you might as well learn how to cut it and deal with the nastiness of its guts. So now that I got this uh, this piece off, like I said, I'm not gonna get a big fillet off of this, but it's a panfish. Here, watch out, Alec. Let me put this stuff in the bag there. So there I got it. I can keep it, uh, the skin on if I'd like to cook it like that, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of the skin being on it when I eat it. What is that piece? That's part of the gut. Part of the stomach. piece of the fish at the in the fish's skin cut this little small fillet off of it I'm gonna cut the ribs out off of it right there so I have a small fillet that I'm gonna cook I put it on medium heat and I'm just using a little extra virgin olive oil I'll let it heat up first and then I'll throw the fillet on I didn't get much I mean you don't get much usually from bluegill and especially with the way I cut it I don't keep the skin so the way I get the fillet off it it doesn't really leave a lot left to eat and I messed up the other side. My knife's pretty dull, and I wasn't able to get the second fillet off. All right, this should be warm enough. Let's uh, let's fry up this little fillet. It's a delicacy. It's a bluegill fillet. So I'm gonna use uh, Lowry season salt. Just uh, sprinkle a little on it. I'm only gonna season one side, so I put a decent amount on. There's a difference between garlic powder and garlic salt, and when I'm doing chicken or fish. I use the garlic powder. It's a little bit more granular or thicker granules than the garlic salt and pepper. Just let this fry up for a little bit. I slipped it again. It's getting nice and brown. So, it's about done. I'm going to eat it and enjoy. I didn't plan on keeping a fish today, but since it was going to die anyways, I might as well eat it. <laughs> 